Hey, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Uh, just wanted to give you an opinion on uh, co-integration testing, uh, which leads into pairs trading. Um, it seems to be a lot more accurate than just traditional technical trading uh, it, with the common way of doing pairs trading um, from a technical analysis world. Um, using co-integration seems to be a, a very good way of um, testing uh, between two two assets uh, as they are moving either converging or reverting um, and the, the powerful thing that I picked up from this webinar is the ability to estimate um, at that point on their um, if they're integrating meaning if they're stationary or not um, and if they're not obviously you, you have a variety of tests that you can run to test uh, if that if that uh, data, or in, in, in essence really t uh, ticks, are stationary data. From there, if they're not, that means they're integrating. The other nice thing about uh, using this MATLAB uh, through this webinar, it demos um, the percentage of, of, the, uh, of when things are co-integrating, so you can get a measurement if and when they are, um, uh, obviously the higher the uh, p-value, um, the higher the integration is, co-integration is, which is a, a, a very strong likelihood of a variety of different opportunities to profit from. Now, um, one of the things that I do remember is that, you know, you can uh, test for co-integration over multiple days or months or whatnot, but from a high frequency trading point of view, um, you can also do it uh, intraday against two assets. So if that's the case, um, you can use the in, the entry and exits uh, on your co-integration on an intraday level, um, and obviously you can use the um, the the um, crossing of the co-integration as as your points of entry and exit. So hopefully that'll help you out um, to get a better idea why I I really like co-integration because it's it's not too hard to understand, but using something like a MATLAB and, and, and especially being able to do a quick test um, using either the angle um, or the better yet the Johansson or the yeah, Johansson test because you can um, get a, a better idea of the probability of it using the p-values that uh, the webinar um, demos. So um, if you can do it on a tick by tick level um, on a multiple various set of, of, of tick data in a time series, you, you know, this is a very powerful way to build a strategy uh, from. So it's, it's one of many ways to, to see if, if there is a potential area to uh, profit from. Alright, so this is the second part of this webinar that I've sunk my teeth into. Um, the other guy, Stuart, talked about pairs trading, other words known as spreads trading. Uh, here's my opinion on all this. This is probably a very simple way of building a simple strategy using co-integration um, and using it somewhat in a high frequency trading environment. Um, obviously the graph that I've left here which is part of that webinar shows that um, right here in the bottom which is done over a few days between the two um, symbols LCO and WTI. Um, as he says you're getting a, a 7% return over a few days which is pretty good so if you build the intelligence from within the MATLAB and your trading system and you can somehow integrate those two uh, this is a very powerful way to build um, an automated way of, of a very effective strategy um, the key is to um, figure a way to find your pairs to see which ones are are um, worthwhile. Um, one of the funny things that I've learned watching Bloomberg TV is let's say when the oil prices go up um, or sorry go down uh, so when oil goes down uh, airlines start to profit and that would make sense because if their um, costs are going down let's say for gasoline uh, for flying planes obviously that point uh, airlines are going to start making a profit so these are the sort of things that uh, you want to be aware of. That's the key to really make um, your profits um, is just knowing when to get in and out and to figure out your uh, pairs. So in essence, uh, if you're doing intraday trading, you're going to be trading on your spreads. Again, uh, this is a very, very popular way to uh, 
build an HFT platform based upon spread trading, aka pairs trading, I guess over long uh, periods of time, multiple days, but for intraday or high frequency trading, um, it's obviously done through this method on an, as I said on an intraday level. So where I'm uh, going with this, uh, using MATLAB for analysis and having some way to bridge um, your platform, your trading platform with something like MATLAB to get really good analysis and give you access to the power of something like MATLAB even on a um, on a uh, HPC or parallelization level or even a, a GPU level. So these are things that I'm looking at right now if I wanted to, to multi, uh, run multiple um, uh, I guess pair trading uh, um, pair trading analysis done on a variety of different uh, pairs on an entry level this is something I'm definitely going to go with um, over the next uh, week or so and uh, I'm going to start building and implementing this uh, using my platform so hopefully I'll help you out